Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday. And today I'm at Canada Farms here in beautiful British Columbia, and I'll be showing you how to set up the all new JBS E-Series spreader from start to spreading. Let's do it. Firstly, we're gonna start off by hooking the CV PTO shaft up to this tractor. This particular one has a small 1000. Uh, Pull the collar back. Once it's all clicked in, you're good to go. Now there's two chains on the covers of here. Mostly, I'll just hook them right like so. Okay, next we'll grab our hoses. I'm gonna start with the red ones, which are the gate hoses. I'm gonna plug them in right on here. And then we're gonna go with the floor hoses, labeled yellow. Oh, like. One and two. Okay, we've got this particular machine. Has ISO bus, so there's an ISO bus connector. Go ahead and plug that in right here. Flip this little lock in there. And finally, we have our lights. So find the seven, it's a seven pin plug. Find the seven pin on your tractor. Plug her in just like that. One thing you guys wanna look out for after you've got everything all hooked up, is go and stand alongside the machine, face it, and make sure it's nice and level. If it's a little bit up, that's okay too. But if your hitch is nose down a little bit, we would need to adjust the height of the hitch. Now that we've got everything all hooked up, we're here inside this beautiful Fent tractor. We'll go and fire it up, and then we're gonna walk you through a couple of the other things you need to check for, all right? Okay, I'd like to go over some of the valve setup stuff we've got on this particular setup here. On blue, we've got a timer set for three seconds, so that way the gate only opens up 24, 30 inches or so and the flow is turned down. We don't need a whole bunch of flow just to open and close the tailgate. Now we have our floor hooked into green. This one's set at about 18 gallons a minute and it's on continuous flow. So once you hit the button on this particular joystick, it'll run the floor and you don't have to hold the button. All right, let's test out a few things. Once you've got all your hydraulics all set up, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna engage the PTO and turn the beaters on at an idle. So on this tractor, we'll double click the PTO button. It starts up, spinning nicely. We wanna sit here and feel, make sure it's not shaking or vibrating. A little bit's okay, especially if there's some manure stuck to it. Okay, so once you've got your PTO spinning nicely at an idle, we're gonna ramp it up slowly to a thousand PTO RPM. There we go, almost there. 990,000, close enough. Super smooth, super nice. So then we're gonna back the RPM down slowly. And then we're gonna shut the PTO off. I'm gonna take you around back and show you a couple things and then we'll carry on. Okay, so once you've got your gate all set up, it's time to test the floor. Make sure that's rolling properly and as it should. This seems to be going good. Now on this particular machine, we can adjust the floor speed on the display because it has ISO bus automatic rate control. As you can see, we can slow the floor right down, speed it right back up. For those of you running just a manual spreader, you'll set the flow for your SCV to adjust the floor chain speed. There we go. Okay, so now we've made all our preliminary checks, a good thing to go ahead and do right before you get ready for the day. Make sure everything's all greased up, double check your floor chain tension, double check your air pressures, and send it. Well, that about concludes setting up your brand new JBS E-Series spreader. Thanks for watching, everyone. Drop a comment below if there's a video that you'd like to see. And remember, the field's the limit.